Hello everyone and welcome to the Why Does My Horse podcast series. My name is Vegeta and I've been working with horses for over 25 years now. I also have a degree in psychology and a number of qualifications in equine behavior and a never-ending love of learning more about the science behind horse behavior. This podcast is aimed at answering some common questions you might have about your beloved horse child using science and experience as our guide. So, all of that aside, let's get into it. I'm pretty sure your horse has done it. Walking along calmly when they suddenly leap back in horror at the sight of a terrifying plastic bag a few feet away from them. Normally, when they hear the sound of a bag, they come searching for treats. But this bag is something else altogether. It literally appeared out of nowhere. Your horse throws his head up, his eyes bulging as he ogles the terrifying teleporting bag. It looks impressive, unless he's an Arab, in which case this is his normal face, but you'll see why in a minute. In reality, horses actually have very fuzzy vision, which makes it hard for them to see details and objects that aren't moving, or that are very close to them. In fact, horses have rather poor vision in many ways, as we will explore in the next few episodes. An important part of vision is being able to see and focus on details. This is known as acuity, and unfortunately it's not something horses have a lot of. Objects that are close to their bodies and not moving are really hard for them to see, and so much scarier. Horses often raise their heads, Not so much to see better, but to give their sense of smell or hearing a chance to catch up and help them understand their environment. To understand just how bad our horse's acuity is, think of your own vision. Our vision is tested using the 2020 rule. This means that if you and I are both standing 20 feet from an object, we should, ideally, both be able to see the object quite clearly. However, horses' vision ranges anywhere between 2030 to 2060. This means that if you can clearly see an object from 30 feet away, your horse will only see the same object when it is 20 feet away. That is a 50% impairment in your horse's vision compared to your own. And this would be qualified as an eagle-eyed horse. If your horse has 2060 vision, then an object you can see clearly from 60 feet away will be blurry to your horse until he is 20 feet away. This is a 200% impairment in your horse's vision. The shape of your horse's head makes a difference to this natural aptitude. A long, convex-shaped head, like we see in thoroughbreds and Mediterranean horses, improves the overall quality of your horse's vision. Whereas shorter, concave faces, like our googly Arabs tend to have, have poorer vision. Ultimately, the difference between what you are seeing and what your horse is seeing is enormous. As a side note, we should congratulate ourselves on our bravery for continuing to ride at all, knowing our horse might well see 200% less than we see. Your horse will spend the first seven years of his life developing his visual acuity, that is, his ability to discern and focus on objects. After the age of seven years, however, his vision slowly begins to decline. Research tells us that 23% of horses are nearsighted, which means they do not see objects until they are much closer to them. 43% of horses are farsighted, which means they are able to see more clearly only as they get further away. If you want to show your horse something new, a good way to do it is to hold it to his nose so he can get a good sniff and a feel with his magical whiskers. If you have something your horse has to see, hold it up in the air a short distance away and wait patiently. It takes horses a little while to actually focus on the object. Never spring things on your horse if you can help it, or you might find yourself standing alone with a cloud of dust while your horse vanishes over the horizon. That's it for today's episode. 
I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new about our incredible equine friends. I feel like it's compulsory to add that it would be great if you could like, share, comment and subscribe. Till next time.